Video is one of the most common sources of digital evidence available in collision investigations and use of force matters. However, video files are often deceptively complex, and forensic video analysts who are aware of video limitations will generally recommend that timing measurements should simply never be calculated from video files. The reason behind this common recommendation is that video files often lie about their timing. A file may report that it is seven frames per second, when in reality, the video file may have a completely different frame rate or even have a variable frame rate. Here we see an example input ACE metadata report that was exported during a police use of force investigation. In this report, we can see that some frames were recorded as fast as 33 milliseconds apart, while others were recorded 100 milliseconds apart, and even others were recorded a full four seconds apart. And this variability doesn't generally occur in a common pattern that can be measured. It bounces around between different areas of the video, making it impossible for us to apply a frame rate or a pattern and count frames to measure the time between frames accurately. These same limitations also mean that driving test vehicles through a scene to compare the test recording to an original event is also often an invalid methodology, since the amount of time between frames during the test recording may be dramatically different than the time between frames during the original event. So if we can't trust the timing metadata from a file, is it even possible for us to calculate timing from video at all? Introducing the Input Ace VFR Lightboard. The special pattern of lights that are flashed by the VFR Lightboard are automatically calculated within the Input Ace software and charted in a detailed timing report. The timing report shows how much time can elapse between a specific number of frames on any recording device. For example, to measure the speed of this vehicle between frame 100 and frame 105 in this recording, the VFR Lightboard answers the question, how much time can pass between any five frames that were recorded by this specific recording device? After creating a quick test recording of at least 400 frames of the VFR Lightboard, a report was generated showing the minimum, maximum, and average time that can elapse between any five frame period that was recorded by this specific recording device at any point in time in the past. These measurements are then used in a final speed calculation to provide a range of speeds the vehicle was traveling in the original recording between the frame 100 and 105. It's an accurate, verifiable, and repeatable methodology.